Plugins are great because they extend the functionality of UBOT Studio, and it's likely that you will quickly accumulate a bunch of them. However, installing plugins can be a slow and tedious process, and so in this video, I'm going to show you how to mass install plugins quickly and easily. For those who don't know, the normal way to install a plugin is to come up to the Tools menu and then select Plugins. You can then choose the location of the DLL file you want to install after clicking on the Add button. To remove a plugin, simply select the plugin and then select the Remove button. I'm going to remove a couple plugins now so I can demonstrate how to add them back in in a different way. So let's remove Advanced File, Advanced Shell. and close bot. Now in order to do this, you will need to close out of UBOT, and then you'll also need to have your plugins all ready to go. So I keep mine in a Dropbox folder. This gives me access to all of my plugins quickly when I need a fresh install. In order to make this a quick process, you will need to have the plugins already extracted so that the DLL files are all in the same folder. So as you can see, I've got all these DLL files. Now what you're gonna wanna do is open a new file explorer window, and then in the location bar, type percentage sign, then app, then data, and a percentage sign. So that's percent, app data, percent, then hit enter. This shortcut will take you to your app data folder where you can find the UBOT Studio folder. Once inside the UBOT Studio folder, open the plugins folder and then copy in any plugins you want to have installed. This is the folder where UBOT would normally copy the plugins when you hit the add button. By copying them in manually this way, we can copy several at once to speed up the process. So I have my three plugins selected here, advanced shell, advanced file, and close bot. I can just simply copy and paste, and you can see it added those three. Now I'm gonna start up UBOT Studio, and open the plugins window, and as you can see, we have advanced file, advanced shell, and close bot installed. So this will work on protected plugins as well, you will just be asked for your license info when you open the plugin window. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.